told is this yoga scene from IC Bangalore. So let us see the solution of the problem I provided you in the last video. So the problem was we had to find out V output and I output in this circuit. We were given that beta is very large for transistor Q1 and Q2. So we have the same procedure for such kind of problems that is we have to find out operating condition for these transistors Q1 and Q2 whether they are working in on condition or not. So we will assume this Q1 of find out its operating condition. Let us do that. Here I have assumed it off and disconnected this Q1 from the circuit. And we have to find out now VBE. If VBE is greater than 0 volt, then its emitter junction will be followed by and this transistor will be on. So uh, I have disconnected this Q1 from the circuit. Then uh, this 2K branch will be disconnected from this, uh, this circuit. And uh, no current will come in 2K. And hence we will have 0 voltage drop across this 2K. Since it is 0 volt, this will also be 0 volt. Now we will find out the difference voltage for this op-amp. So difference voltage will be V difference equals to V positive terminal voltage minus V negative terminal voltage. So we have positive terminal voltage 6 volt minus negative terminal voltage 0. So we got 6. V difference voltage we got 6. And since V difference voltage is greater than 0 volt, in that case my VO1, let us say this op-amp 1 output is VO1. This VO1 will be plus V saturation. If this VO1 is plus V saturation and this emitter is open circuit, so this VBE, this VBE will be greater than 0 volt. If VBE is greater than 0 volt, in that case we can say this Q1 will be on. So let us make this Q1 on. So I have made this Q1 on and uh, I can I can have this base 2 emitter. This is my base. This is emitter. This is collector. So base 2 emitter we have 0 degree phase angle and uh, negative terminal and this we will have 180 degree phase angle. In that case overall we will have 180 degree phase loop. Okay, so if loop angle is 180 degree, then we can say there is a negative feedback and we can apply virtual ground concept. So virtual ground concept is valid. Then we can say V positive terminal voltage equals to V negative terminal voltage equals to 6 volt. So I have this one 6 volt. Now this will also be 6 volt. If it is 6 volt, this is the voltage across this 2K register and then I can find out the current flowing in this branch. So let us find out this current. Uh, this will be IE equals to voltage is 6 divided by 2K. Then this will be 3 milliampere. Since beta is very large, this will almost be equal to IC. So IEC will also be 3 milliampere. If I see 3 milliampere, then I can find out V plus for op amp 2 uh, after applying KVL here. So 12 minus 1.5 into the current which is flowing in 2K that is IE that will also flow in here in 1.5K because this op amp is ideal and no current will go in this positive terminal. Positive terminal. Okay. So 1.5 into IE minus V plus to 0. I can find out V plus here that will be 12 minus 1.5 into IE I have 3 milliampere and this is glow so it will be 12 minus 4.5 I will get V plus equals to 7.5 volt so I got this one 7.5 volt and uh, I have to find out this operating condition so this is base and this is emitter terminal. So this is uh, open circuit. This 3K is having zero voltage drop and uh, this emitter circuit will also be zero. So I'll have to find out uh, operating condition for this Q2. In that case, uh, this is 12 volt. And we know op amp is ideal. In that case, negative terminal current will be zero and positive terminal current will also be zero in op amp. So if, if this is 0, this 2K will also have a 0 drop, then we will have this 12 volt. Now if we find out difference voltage, V difference equals to V positive terminal minus V negative terminal voltage. So positive terminal voltage we have 7.5. 
and the negative terminal voltage we have 12 volt so v difference we get 4.5 volt it is negative since v difference is less than 0 in that case vo2 let us call this output vo2 so this vo2 will be minus v saturation if this is minus v saturation then vbe will be 0 sorry vbe will be less than 0 then vbe will be less than 0 and we can say this q2 will be off because its emitter junction will be reverse bias so since this q2 is off and uh, no current will come in i output then we can say i output will be zero <coughs> now we have to find out this v output since no coming since no current is coming in negative terminal so voltage drop across this 2k will be zero and th this 12 volt will come across this 2 v output so v output we can say it will be 12 volt so this is the answer for this question